okay guys we are going to do a tutorial on difference between primary key and foreign key a primary key uniquely identifies record in a relation foreign key is a field in the table that is primary key in another table that means let us consider a table 1 which has primary key p a table 2 in which we need a reference of the primary key of table 1. Now this primary key in the table 2 will be known as the foreign key for the table. The second point is primary key cannot have null values. It cannot be any empty fields in the primary key attribute in the foreign key can accept null values there can be empty fields in the foreign key attribute the third point is for a given record for a given relation there can be at max one primary key we can have multiple foreign keys in a given relation let us give let us take a demonstration for the same now in this uh, SQL wave database test I have created a table department which has primary key as department ID another two columns as department name and address but rule one was that primary key uniquely identifies record in a relation that means there cannot be any two values in primary key attribute which have redundancy or duplicacy. In the department table, I filled in some values. The primary key is the department ID which has values 1, 2, 3 and 5. Now, in order to check whether the primary key can have duplicate values let me try to fill 2 which already exists here and some random department name as ASD and some address as SU6 link road Let us try to append that. The SQL wave shows an error that duplicate entry for primary key is not allowed. Hence, the rule 1 for primary key holds. Foreign key is a field in the table that is primary key in another table. Now, for this, I have created a table employee with the definition as It has four attributes with primary key as employee ID and a foreign key to the table department with department ID being the foreign key in the employee table. Now the employee ID is the primary key and department ID as the foreign key. Let's try to insert some records. Employee name as for each salary is 12,000 and department ID. Remember the department ID is existing word 1, 2. So let me add 1 and append the data. The data has been successfully added to the table employee. The second difference was primary key cannot have null values. To check that, let's try to fill any null value in department ID, which is a primary key to department table. Let me add null. 
some department name as XCV and some address as SCO7 link road. If I try to append it, insert it, an address is thrown that null cannot be accepted. Also, if I try to keep it empty, that is void, and try to append it, the SQL wave shows an error that it should have some default value. Hence, primary key does not support null or empty values. Foreign key can accept empty values, that is, various null values. To demonstrate that, let us go to the employee table in which department ID was a foreign key. Let's try to insert a record. Employee ID is 110. Employee name as is uh, salary as ten thousand dollars and department ID as empty now we see that LS one one zero has been successfully appended hence null values are allowed third point is at most one primary key in a table to demonstrate that I have a table city now city ID is a primary key and city name is also the primary key to this table city if we try to execute it the SQL wave shows an error that multiple primary keys defined, hence the table cannot be executed. Foreign key. Any table can have more than one foreign key. For that, I have created a table named Form 1. Initially, there are two tables with department ID as primary key in department table and employee ID as primary key in employee table. I am creating another table named form 1 in which form ID is a primary key, De employee ID and department ID are the foreign keys referencing to department and employee table. If I execute it and refresh the database I see there is another table named form 1 hence the query was executed successfully. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thank you.